Hello everybody! And in today's video, we'll take a closer, detailed look at this all-new 2014 Mazda 3. And as Mazda 3 has been totally and successfully redesigned for 2014, now it's built in the totally new Skyactiv architecture, and it doesn't share Ford Focus platform anymore. And as already known, uh, the Skyactiv platform is used in new CX-5 and Mazda 6, but this Mazda 3 Skyactiv is unique. It's improved by 30% in its torsion rigidity, and the weight is reduced almost by 100 pounds. But overall, the length is almost the same. Just the wheelbase is stretched by 2.4 inches, and it also combined the experience of already quite successful CX-5 and Mazda 6. So, let's see first what's inside. And when I said at the beginning that it was successfully redesigned, that uh, the interior uh, plays a big role here. Uh, as uh, with Mazda 6, they uh, went for BMW kind of uh, type of the interior, but with this Mazda 3, it uh, combines BMW elements, but also uh, they went even further. Now uh, the gauge cluster, it's the, uh, almost a copy from uh, McLaren. And here's the picture for you. And as you can see from the picture, that's the only little detail, but uh, for some people that means a lot and uh, that would be their decision point, but for some people that would be their only point. But to me personally, uh, since I learned that uh, it's uh, that's the only thing I'm thinking when I see a new Mazda 3, but there's definitely more to the vehicle than that. And as a proof to that, there is one more element, is this... Uh, screen of the uh, infotainment system that reminds the Mercedes-Benz uh, very much and uh, this one displays radio, navigation, phone and vehicle settings information that's operated by uh, the commander knob via uh, touch uh, inputs also and on the bottom there is the controls for your uh, dual zone climate with the digital screen and then the shift knob of the automatic transmission with manual shiftability and this is the commander knob of the uh, infotainment system, navigation, and actually reminiscent of uh, BMW iDrive system, uh, its location and uh, the way it's set up. But in my opinion, the touchscreen operation would be already enough, leaving more space for the middle console storage. And uh, overall, uh, the infotainment system has perfect graphics and usability. And now let's take a look at the gauge cluster again and has this uh, new element, the projection of the speed. Uh, but unlike in other vehicles where it goes on the actual windshield, here it appears on this little collapsible glass uh, screen around the front of you. And now the steering wheel. It is thick, leather wrapped with red stitching. Uh, it does remind the McLaren, if you seen the picture earlier. It has the controls on the left uh, for your audio and the cruise control on the right. Here is the glove compartment and also the middle console storage. Uh, it has uh, the two U USB inputs, uh, SD card and the 12 volt power outlet. Alright guys, this is pretty much it for the uh, frontal part of the interior. Now let's open the hood and check out the engine. And now the engine, it is new Skyactiv G, 2.5 liter, 4 cylinder, double overhead camshaft. But uh, look at these numbers, it produces 184 horsepower, and this is just a regular uh, atmospheric naturally aspired uh, gasoline engine, but uh, with also 185 uh, pound-feet of torque. But uh, MPGs are even more impressive. 
It uh, gives you 28 in the city and 39 highway. And this is just, uh, again, it's just a regular uh, gasoline engine. But the MPGs are, not even every diesel can uh, provide that much uh, miles per gallon. The engine is also paired with 6-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability and you will get 4-wheel independent uh, suspension. And now as always, uh, let's uh, take a look at the back seat and do my traditional back seat test. Uh, Here is the view of the front panel uh, sitting on the back seat. And I am sitting right behind myself and uh, this is how much of the legroom I have. It is just enough. And the back seat is equipped with the uh, elbow support and the integrated cup holders. It is also 40-60 collapsible. And once again, sitting right behind myself, uh, this is how much of the headroom I have. And this is it for the interior. Now let's uh, check out the trunk. And here is the trunk. It is a uh, good size and uh, all the previous generations, uh, Mazda 3 had uh, always decent sized trunks. And uh, here under the floor you'll find the compact size spare tire. Alright guys, that was my first look at this all new 2014 Mazda 3, it is the sedan with 2.5 liter engine, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, please visit my channel, also subscribe, share and like if you do, but for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.